Hi guys, Andrea here, and today I have another Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. And you know, I love my Dollar Tree for sure. I hope you all are having a really great week so far. And I do have a special bag of Dollar Tree goodies to share with you guys. My aunt had come over and she said that she picked up some things from Dollar Tree for me. So I want to share what she got me with all of you. So the first things were three of these um, food tents, and these are really great. They're decent enough quality for a dollar especially, and I have some that I've bought a few years ago, and I've used them several times, and they do work out well. And I already opened one of them up just so you can get an idea of how big these are. So you just push up on the bar in the middle, and there you go. It will definitely help keep flies away from your food if you're having a cookout. And I don't know about you guys, but I just cannot stand when flies land on the food. It grosses me out. And I'm pretty sure um, that phobia started after seeing The Fly, many the movie The Fly, many, many years ago. And seeing what happens when a fly lands on something gross so definitely pick some of these up if you tend to have a lot of outdoor eating um the next thing she got me was this dish drying mat with the pink chickens on it let me open it up so you can see what it looks like and it's so cute and yes you guys i know they are pink flamingos it's just Way back when I started this channel a couple of years ago, I really don't even know how it started. I think we used to tease Lily when she was younger and say, oh, look, there's pink chickens. And she would get like annoyed and say, no, they're flamingos. But somehow it started up on the channel and it has just stuck with several of my YouTube friends that have been with me for a while. So, yes, pink chickens and I love them. They're really pretty. And I think maybe because I'm short and flamingos are tall and they stand tall, it's just kind of, I don't know, it just, they inspire me. <laughs> but anyhow, moving on, more pink chicken stuff. I'm sure she didn't get this because she thought I needed a sucker, but it's, there is a sucker inside of here. So there you go, cute. She got me some of these fairy garden gnomes and many of you already know that I have fairy herb gardens in my backyard. If I can remember, I will link the video of me showing a couple years ago um, how I set up my fairy herb gardens. If you're interested, definitely check that out. It's not a long video at all. And a pack of stickers with kitty cats all over them because she knows I love my kitty cat. And then a couple of these plastic platters with more pink chickens, pink flamingos. These are so nice. I love the ones that are shaped like the rowboat type of look. And these are just great and fun and festive for outdoor summertime gatherings i love them so that is everything she brought me over thank you auntie for thinking of me and bringing over these goodies so i just want to get right into the things that i found yesterday um let's see where do i want to start i'll start off with these body washes i did haul these either the last haul or the one before and I ended up picking up two more bottles because, you guys, I've been using this in the shower and I like this stuff. And it's only a buck. It reminds me of the Dial Body Wash in, I think it's Spring Water Scent. Dial Body Wash is like my favorite dolly, uh, dolly wash, body wash. Um, I don't tend to go for the real creamy kind of body washes, so... These smell great. They lather up really nicely. They're not like that cheap, um, gelatinous type of consistency that a lot of the Dollar Tree brand body washes are. 
I just don't like those. I'm not down with that. But definitely for a dollar for 12 fluid ounces. And I like the clear water scent the best. So great deal. Unless you are a couponer, you are not going to find body wash for under a dollar. Good quality body wash. I picked up one of these little mini dust pans with the broom. Matt uses these to clean out the uh, snake tank. Just makes it easy for him to reach in there and sweep up some of the aspen shavings and whatnot just to kind of spot, leak, spot clean the tank. So that's why I got that. And they had this cute little plastic light up rainbow. There is something else that lights up in here, but it must be in one of the other bags. But let me just show you. This lights up pretty nicely. So I'm not sure if I'm going to give these to one of my littles or I may just use this myself as a little nightlight. It's just so cute and happy and colorful. And I also picked up these little coin purses. They're like a real kind of velvety, fuzzy type of material. And they have the cute little kitty cat and the cute little unicorn. And I'll probably hang on to these. These would make good little stocking stuffers for next Christmas for my little nieces. So that's why I picked those up. And then this is all really random to you guys. They had some of this Tiny Hero Golden Quinoa. It's a six ounce bag and these do not expire until March 30th of 2023. So I ended up picking up two of these. I thought quinoa is not my favorite. I'll just tell you, I, I'll eat it. There really isn't much to it. There isn't much flavor to it. I think it looks a little weird when it's cooked, but I can get over that. Um, I thought because this has quite a long shelf life left that this would be great to add to our emergency food pantry. So that's why I picked those up. Yeah. Not bad for a dollar because quinoa can be pricey. I thought these would be a good little snack for me. These are the David pumpkin seeds. They are all natural and there are three net carbs in a serving. So it's not a huge bag. It's only a two ounce little packet, but just to throw it in my purse and just have it on hand, if I'm craving like a crunchy little snack. Uh, they had some more laundry decor signs. Uh, I think they had one more. I may have recorded it. If I did, I'll include it here. But these were the two that I liked and I am wanting to at some point soon just kind of make my little laundry area in the basement just a little cuter. So I, I picked up a few of their laundry signs here and there. I just love the look of them. They're really, really nice quality. These are just kind of the um, carb, thick cardboard type of box here, but just for keeping in the laundry room, I'm sure these will work out just fine. So, cute decor for a dollar. And I know I have more of these in my bags, but I picked up some of this Gossner Foods milk. I picked up two in the 2% and somewhere I have two of the whole milk. These again are something I like keeping on the in the emergency pantry. And these here are good until March 16th of 2022. So what I'll do is I kind of try to cycle these. So I'm using them before they expire and then replenishing them on the shelf. And what I'll probably do is if I don't use these at home for any reason, I will use these around the holidays when I'm doing my baking or I like to do a big country breakfast around Christmas and I'll use these for making a big batch of like biscuits and gravy or something like that. But these are a great, great thing to keep as a backup to regular milk. They don't have to be refrigerated until you open them. So really, really great products. I found these power stick. 
it's in the powder fresh scent these are the ones for her and so these are the antiperspirants and it says there's 25% more so these are a pretty good size so I picked up two of those and then they had these really pretty headbands I, I love headbands and I just thought that was so cute so let's see what it looks like so yeah you guys I just thought that was really pretty it's comfortable it doesn't pinch at all like on the sides and super pretty so I picked up an extra one for friend mail I'll take it off because I don't have scissors near me to take the tag off. And more party supplies. They have these really big paper party bowls. These are great for putting like chips or snacks or you could even put your plasticware or napkins, stuff like that in here. And these are really big and they had it in this I don't know if you can really tell. It's like that iridescent type of shimmery look. And they had it in this type as well. And there are two of them in each package. And they are 10.5 10 inch by 4.5 inch. So really nice size. And I like using paper products sometimes, especially when you're having a party. Because the last thing you want to do when you're done is have like tons of stuff to clean. Because you're pretty pooped out from getting everything prepped for the party. So, yeah. I'll take some help where I can there. And I think this is the other milk. Yeah. So, this is the whole milk. And I think it's the same date. Now, these ones are February 28th of 2022. But still, they have a lot of shelf life left for them. So picked up two and whew, try not to drop anything but I can't promise that I won't did you guys know me all right milk let me get you out of the way oh here's the other little light up that they had it's a cute little unicorn and let's see how this baby lights up so pretty decent lighting on these. Sometimes you get things like this and they're super dim, but these look like they would actually be a really, really nice night light. Uh, I found some more Wet n Wild and this is the Mega Glow Face Mist. It says limited edition. And here's what it looks like. And if you haven't checked out my last Dollar Tree haul, I'm pretty sure it was my last one, I announced a giveaway for a bunch of Wet n Wild and Hard Candy makeup, and I'm going to add this into there as well. And they had these new Reed diffusers. They were new to me, at least all of these scents were. I picked up the one that's Beachy Keen. And it has like the blue liquid. I'll put it in. I will put up here um, the other scents. I did take a little video of the other scents that they have, so I will include that right here. Now I have bought some of these, like around Christmas time, that were I think like cinnamon scent, and they really had zero throw. So I'm hoping that these work out to be a little better. I was interested in some of the other scents they had, but I wasn't going to get more than one until I try this out and really see how this works. But really pretty little bottle. So if it smells good, that's a great deal for a doll. I don't know what's going on with the lighting here. It's kind of an overcast day, so I'm not sure what is happening. I've never seen this before. This is called Revel, and it says True Blue, and it's supposed to be a dupe for, 
You think I can read it, you guys? It like has a white print. <laughs> So it's really hard to read. It's probably easier to read like that. So this is a dupe for the Dolce & Gabbana. And okay, for a dollar, if this smells good, and I'm going to, oh, I should have had scissors here with me. If it smells good, I'm going to pick up some more because that'd be really good for a gift can't get into it so this is what oh, I think I broke a nail this is what the bottle looks like you know I don't I'll be honest I don't know what this Dolce and Gabbana scent is I don't think I've used it but I'm just going after does this smell good it's really hard to see where it's Mmm. Wow. That smells really good, you guys. A dollar. I've used dupes from like CVS in the past. There was one I would always buy. I think I but would buy it at CVS and Walgreens, and it was the dupe for Angel. And I think dupes can be really, really, really great. And they're definitely a lot cheaper than the name brand. This smells really pretty. If you see this in the store and you are a Dolce and Dolce and Gabbana, I don't know, fan of whatever scent this is the dupe for, pick this up because I think that you will be happy that you did for sure. Yes, I'm sorry, you guys, and I don't have scissors near me, and I don't have glasses near me, and this is what happens. All right, last bag. I'm always looking for things to pick up for my little great nieces and nephews, like I've told you guys, when they come over, in the, especially in the summertime, to keep them busy outside when they're not in the pool. So I always find a lot of things for the little girls, but... I picked these up because I thought my little great nephew Tyler would like these. These are pretty nice sized dinosaurs too. So they had a few other kinds, but these are the three that I picked out. And of course, T-Rex. I mean, these are really, really neat. And you know, kids are rough with their stuff, so I feel like these are going to hold up to five-year-old little boy torture pretty well. So. And I just needed a couple more little potted or planter pots. I'm going to be showing you guys soon where my seedlings are at in the greenhouse. Uh, they're doing really well. Most of them are. So I'm excited to get planting here outside in a couple weeks, but I just needed a few more of these size pots because now I need to transition them from the seed starter trays to their own individual little pots to get them ready to plant outside. So there are four in each of these and I picked up the ones that were in the orange color. And they had some of this can't talk herbal helpers tea this is in immunity boost and there are 20 tea envelopes in here it says it's premium quality product 100 natural this is made by global brands and they had another kind i don't remember what it was i think it was for energy or something like that so I didn't pick that one up, but I thought it would be good to have this immunity boost one around. And these were new. I've never seen these before. They are labeled trifold pill and storage boxes. And then here's the picture of how they have them in the back. And these are these seem like they're going to be really nice quality. I have bought the pill boxes before, like different kinds, and 
they really didn't hold very well. The tops would pop off and then my medications would go all over the place. But these seem like they're a lot better quality. And honestly, I think this would be really good to use as a travel sewing kit. Or you could keep like safety pins, little things like that, that you always, you always seem to need when you're at work, but you don't have any around or keep in the car. I think there's just a lot of things that you could use this for other than pills. So I picked up a couple of those. And those were just hanging on a strip on an end cap. And then I got... This is by Spa Life. This is Fruit Extract Hydro Soothing Cooling Eye Pads. I've picked up the ones that look like cucumbers before, but these look like little slices of kiwi. And there are quite a few in here. What is it? Where does it say? I don't think it says, but it looks like there's more than four slices in here. So I apologize. I can't see how many are in here, but there's more than two. So I thought I would try them out. They looked like it'd be fun. And I also picked up these little beauty jars. It says four piece. I'm not really sure where they're getting four piece from because there are only three in here. Even if they were considering the lids a piece, <laughs> That would be a six piece. So I don't know, but these little jars, these are good too for holding pills or if you're wanting to make your own little lip balms or lip scrubbers, these are really good for that type of thing. So that's why I got those. And then just a couple hair things. So they had these athletic wear by expression head wraps. I got this one in the pink. And it's supposed to hold your hair back really well. It's kind of a sweatband. It has rubber on the inside to help keep it, you know, wrapped around your head. So I figured I would try one of these out. And they also have reflective bands. So if you're somebody who likes to go walking in the, you know, early hours or the evening hours, then, you know, it's just another little piece of safety to make sure you are seen. And then they had, I've never seen anything like this before. This is by Gimme, and they are three shower scrunchies and a suction hook. So, yes, they have a little suction. So the thought is that you would keep these in the shower, because you know sometimes you just want to put your hair up while you're doing other things. Maybe you don't want to necessarily wash your hair. But these are waterproof and water and mildew resistant. And I thought these would be good for the pool. Um, I always throw my hair up in a messy bun to swim or float in the pool. So I just thought, okay, these are waterproof. So that'll just help them to not get faded and weird. And so that's why I got these. And this is supposed to be the same concept. It's an up and dry shower claw clip. And this also has that suction cup. I really liked the color of the clip on its own. I do use shower clip or hair clips in the shower as well. So I don't know if I'll put it in there. But it says it's firm hold. And again, it's supposed to be water and mildew resistant. But I just really like the color and will probably use it as is. But okay. That is everything in this haul. Wow, that went quicker than I thought it was going to. So I just wanna take this chance to announce one more giveaway. And this giveaway is going to be for a $25 Dollar Tree gift card. And um, let's see, what will we use as the giveaway entry word? We'll just do hashtag Dollar Tree. How about that? Um, hashtag Dollar Tree in the comments below. And so I wanted to take this opportunity to announce one more giveaway. And that is going to be for a $25 gift card to Dollar Tree. So what you'll need to do to enter is comment down below hashtag 1000. Yes, you guys, I know. 
I am over 2,000 subscribers now. I don't know how or when that happened because I feel like I just got to 1,000 and that's why I started my giveaways was to celebrate 1,000 subscribers. But yeah, so these giveaways are to celebrate the 1,000 and I'm going to be announcing the winners on Tuesday, May 4th, which is my birthday. I'm hoping to pull off my first live if for some reason I can't figure it out and it doesn't work out I will post a video anyways announcing the winners to all the giveaways that I put out there over the past couple weeks so the rules for this giveaway entry are you have to be 18 years old or over you have to live in the US you have to be a subscriber and you have to like this video of course and don't forget that you need to comment below hashtag 1000 and I'm really excited to announce all the winners next Tuesday. This should be fun. If you haven't seen the other giveaways, make sure you go back and check out some of my other videos because I think I have um, four or five giveaways going on right now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm losing count. But thank you so much for all the new subscribers. And thank you to all my friends who have been hanging with me for a while. I appreciate you guys' support and encouragement so, so much. I love you guys. And you just really make every day extra special. And until next time, my beautiful friends, as always, stay safe and be blessed. Bye.